Hi everyone, welcome to an SMB Solutions Cloud Services tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and use the SMB Solutions password portal. So what you can see in front of you here is the actual password portal screen. And to get this up, you just bring up your web browser and type in the following address. So that's selfservice.smbsolutions.com.au colon 8888. When you type this in, it'll bring you to this screen here. Instead of having to actually remember that website though, we what you can do instead is you can head on over to our SMB Solutions website, which is smbsolutions.com.au. And then up the top here are the login tab. If you click that, it'll take you to all of our different login options. So not only do you have the Australian and New Zealand password portal, uh, we've also got the Singapore and Southeast Asia password portal. We've got the login for the gateway for Australia and New Zealand, as well as the gateway for Singapore and Southeast Asia. We've got the service portal here available for any service requests and also the service status page for our data centers. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back over to the Australian and New Zealand uh, uh, password portal. This, it looks exactly the same as the Singapore and Southeast Asia password portal. So I'm only gonna take you through this one today. Okay, so I've created a brand new account so we can do it from start to finish. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna change this drop down box to read SMB solutions. Now I'm gonna type in my user code or my username. So this is gonna be the exact same user code that you use, that you currently use to log into your SMB Solutions cloud platform uh, and your SAP Business One program. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and type in my user code. I'm gonna type in my password and then I'm gonna click login. Okay, so it's just reminding me about all these places I can save it. So I'm just going to click not now. Okay, so now you're in the password portal, but what you need to do is you actually need to enroll in the password portal. So I'm going to go ahead and click here to start that enrollment process. Now doing this is extremely important because if you forget your password and you need to use the password portal to change it, um, obviously you can't log in if you've completely forgotten your password. So if you've got these security questions here, it means that you can go through the back end and still actually change your password. Um, now if you haven't done this, if you haven't set up your security questions and you need to come to the SMB Solutions support team to change your password, that's not a problem, but there is a fee involved. So that's why we've set up these password portals, self-service portals for you guys, so that you don't need to come to us and you don't actually need to pay anything to change your password. You can do it yourself. So just make sure you set up all this stuff properly the first time and you'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm just gonna select some questions here. As you can see, they're the pretty standard questions uh, for your security questions. So I'm just gonna pick what's your favorite color. I'm just gonna type my answer in. Great, and a second one. Beautiful, so now that I've typed that in, I'm gonna click next. And no, I don't wanna update my password. So as you can see here, your security questions are all set up and ready to go. If you wanna view or change your security questions, you just click the little edit button here, okay? So the next thing that we're gonna to do to make sure our password portal is completely set up is we're just gonna head on over to our profile here. So as you can see, this is just a testing profile. So it hasn't actually got my details in here, but as you can see, there's a little asterisk here next to mobile. So this is something that you have to add in to actually have your profile completed and ready for, for use. Now, the other thing that is really important is actually your email. So I'm just gonna type in a mobile. Now, the email is extremely important because it's actually gonna remind you when your password is due to expire. So it can send you some reminder emails a couple of days beforehand, as well as on the day that your password's expiring. So if you haven't got your email in there, it means that you're not gonna get those reminders, your password's gonna expire and you're just gonna to have to log in. So at least with this, you get a little bit of a reminder or a heads up that this change is coming. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my email address. Great. So these are the two things that are really important. So you can change and add as much as you want inside here. Obviously, if you want to add your home phone number, you want to add your address, your organization, you can absolutely do that. Some of these details may actually be pre-configured for you um, because of your user code login already being in SAP or in SMB solutions. Um, but if it's not, feel free to add it. That's no problem. These two are just the most important to have completed properly. Okay, so your mobile and your email. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and click update. 
and that's my profile completed and ready to use. Now to actually change your password, it's very simple. We're gonna go back up to these top tabs here and click the change password tab. So you just type in your old password or your current password and you type in your new password and confirm your new password. Now this has uh, your password rules already listed here for you. If you're one of those people that struggles creating a new password every 90 days, uh, what you can actually do instead is you can go to a program called LastPass. So again, in your web browser, you just go ahead and type in lastpass.com forward slash password dash generator. So that'll bring you up a password generator where you can add in your password rules here and it'll automatically generate one for you. Okay, so you can do password length. If it's easy to read, easy to say, or it doesn't really matter, it's just got all the characters in it. And then you can choose if you need uppercase, lowercase numbers or symbols. Okay, so that's everything you need to know for the password portal. Of course, if you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please reach out to the support team. Uh, you can see the details on the screen there. Also, feel free to head on over to our website. We have heaps of resources available. Head on over to our YouTube channel, our Wistia channel. We have lots of videos available for you guys as well. More tutorial videos and explainer videos. Okay, so I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day.